Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Paul Toot, President and Founder of National Premier Consulting and author of the book, Acing the Medical School Admission Process. Today I would like to welcome you to our talk as we discuss pre-med students and volunteering. I would like to tell you thank you so much for taking the time and investing in yourself and obtaining information about your medical school admission process. I know that the information that we're about to share today will greatly benefit you and I'm so excited to get started because this is a topic, volunteering, that is near and dear to my heart. In this talk, we're going to look at how to get started in the field of volunteering. We'll also discuss how much time you should give to the field of volunteering. Then we're going to look at incorporating your pre-med background with the volunteering choice that you made. And lastly, we're going to look at the benefits of volunteering. So getting started in the field of volunteering. The first question should come to your mind is why should you volunteer? Well, volunteering is important, not just because medical schools like to see it on your application, but it's very important because it shows to others and to the medical schools that you have the habit of giving back to others, that you are not just concerned with yourself, but you're also concerned with others and with giving back. You should be aligning the volunteering choice that you make with your interests. What do I mean by this? You should align your volunteering choice with things that you are passionate about and that you're excited about. The reason you want to do this is that by doing this, you will then be able to translate that energy to others when you talk about your volunteering service. And also, you will be genuinely interested in the volunteering service and more likely to sustain it. Should you volunteer as an individual or should you join a group? Very interesting question because each has its own benefits and drawbacks. If you volunteer as an individual and go individually into organizations and just volunteer your service um, by doing things that you are in charge of and that you create without any additional input, well then that puts a lot of responsibility on you, but it also allows you to be more expressive and more creative in what you do. If you were to join a group and volunteer, well then that group already has its objective and its goals and you lend your talents and your skills and you help that group achieve its objectives that it has already set out to achieve. Where should you be looking for organizations that want volunteers? Well, the first place you can look is your local hometown. There are many areas around you that can use volunteers. So look there. I would also look on the internet and I would also look and my local chamber of commerce. These are good places to start. Where should you be volunteering? You should volunteer wherever you feel comfortable volunteering. Look for places that are close by you, um, your local school, your local church, your local hospital, your local food bank. And then you decide if it's a good match and then volunteer there if you wish. How much time to give to volunteering? First and foremost, the time that you allow to volunteering should be a time that you feel that you can comfortably give and that you can live up to that commitment. Your number one priority as a pre-med student is to fulfill the requirements that are necessary for you to become a medical student. But we want you to be able to prioritize also some time for volunteering. And I know many of you will say your hands are tied with the things that you have on your plate already. But with a little effort, I know you can find the time to volunteer. Consistency counts. The old way of uh, looking at volunteering was that it's a, just another check mark on the list of things that you need to accomplish to get accepted into medical school. So many applicants would wait until the last minute and then they would go and volunteer for two or three weeks and then put it on their application form that they volunteered here. Well, the new way of looking at this is that you need to be more consistent in your volunteering. So you shouldn't just volunteer right at the end 
what you should do and what I recommend to a lot of my clients is that you start early doing something that you love. And what you do is you give a manageable amount of time to that organization on a regular basis. So rather than just volunteering for two weeks, eight hours a day, you can volunteer for an hour every two to three weeks over a longer period of time and it shows consistency in your volunteering. Remember not to overdo it. As we said earlier, your number one priority is for you to become a medical student. That's why you're applying to medical school. But we also want you to be well-rounded. So in your volunteering, remember that if, it is, if it's taking time away from your studies, if your grades are suffering, if you're not able to study for your MCAT as you want or you're not able to fulfill your requirements, then you need to take a look at your allocation of time and decide how you want to go about that. You need to do some self-evaluation because you need to determine how much time you're giving to that volunteering uh, service and then decide if that is working for you. And if it's not, then you need to make the adjustments necessary. Incorporating your pre-med background with volunteering. Remember, the definition of health is well-being. As a person who's training to become a physician, you can volunteer in any field that lends itself to creating good health. And this isn't just in the sense of medical help that we think about drugs and sickness and illness. It is also in the sense of physical health, mental health, emotional health. If you can find a field that, that benefits health in any way, I think that's fair game for volunteering. So remember that non-medical volunteering is okay. You don't need to have volunteer only at a hospital or a clinic, but you can volunteer with your local food bank, your local schools, churches, many organizations. So be open-minded when considering an organization to volunteer with. Be a messenger when you volunteer. As a pre-med student, your emphasis is on health and medicine. Imagine if you were to take that knowledge that you have, that love and passion that you have for the medical field, and bring that to an area that is not accustomed to hearing health topics. Example, if you were to go to a school and share with them the importance of good health, then you become a messenger for health and your impact is so much greater than if you are just another student who wants to become a doctor and you end up going into a hospital where you are at the bottom of the totem pole. Remember, like we share with all of our clients at National Premier Consulting, you want to put yourself in an environment where you will be seen in the best light. So I would strongly recommend taking the messenger role. You need to be well-rounded. You need to look at fields that are not just in the medical field for your volunteering service. The benefits of volunteering. The first one that you should consider is the personal benefits. Not only does it help you to look at the world at a, from a different perspective, but it also helps you as an individual to be more mindful of others because you're working many times in these organizations with people that are less fortunate than you are. So it helps to put a lot of things into perspective for you. Self-growth and development. Volunteering at these organizations allows you to take on a lot of leadership roles. And it allows you to develop your leadership skills. So from a personal standpoint, not only are you giving back, but you're also getting as you help plan campaigns and programs that will benefit others, you are also benefiting yourself. Lifetime habits. You will be creating a lifetime habit of volunteering because as you volunteer consistently, this isn't something that you're just going to do up until you apply to medical school and then stop. But usually these habits will follow you. Why? Because you're doing something that you are interested in. And when you're interested in it, you will want to more than likely continue it. So that is why it is so important for you to choose a field that you are passionate about and that you love because then you are going to be more likely 
to continue that later on. Volunteering allows you to have an exemplary lifestyle. Let's face it, society looks up to people who volunteer. At National Premier Consulting, we love to give you bonuses every single episode of our talks. The application committee loves this volunteering. They want you to volunteer. When they see that on your application, you stand out to them. And a consistent volunteering stands out to them way more than just a one-time shot in the dark. Volunteering also allows you to be exposed to meeting some of the nicest, most genuine people in the world. Because people who consistently volunteer are usually doing it from a sincere place in their heart. And they're usually some of the nicest people that you will ever want to meet. Volunteering will add to your story. At National Premier Consulting, we tell our clients that their story is very important. And when you volunteer, it adds to your story because it gives you more exposure. It shows congruency. If you are consistently volunteering, like we said earlier, and you are volunteering in a field that you are passionate about, then when you truly talk about what you see as your passion for wanting to become a physician and why you feel this is the career for you and you can link that up to other areas in your life it shows congruency i want to thank you so much for taking the time out and investing in yourself and listening to what we have to share today i want to encourage you to contact us at national premier consulting you can contact us at our website www.nationalpremierconsulting.com you can contact us on Facebook at Facebook, www.facebook.com slash National Premier Consulting. We're on Twitter at Premed Coach. We're also on YouTube. Our channel is Premed Coach. My personal Facebook page is Dr. Paul Toot. And to all our podcast listeners, we're on iTunes. If you want our past episodes, you can search for Dr. Paul Toot on iTunes and subscribe to us. And also on Podomatic. Dr. Paul Toot, and you can also subscribe to us. I want to encourage you to join our Facebook family and like us on Facebook and share us with a friend. There are many things that we are offering on Facebook that you can only get if you are a part of the National Premier Consulting uh, family on Facebook. Once again, I would like to thank you for taking the time to be with us today. And like I tell all of my clients, if you are committed to success, success will be committed to you. Success to you. Success to you.